Hey guys, what's good? It's Torn here. Um, today I will be bringing you a tutorial on how to properly edit the Rebel Card BRSAR. Uh, first, before I get started, I want to thank DJ Logi or Logi for uh, for making this uh, small tutorial on the forms, explaining how to do this uh, properly himself. I assume he's the one that found this out, and yeah. So yeah, thanks, thanks to him. <coughs> so, assuming you downloaded my uh, the download links in the description, you will see uh, you will get a, a zip archive, and after that you'll get a, the same name with in a folder now. The same name again and again. Then Brawlbox, then Ben, then Debug, then Brawlbox.exe itself. All right, <coughs> so. I just wanna put this out, put this out there as well. That uh, even uh, you, you you also gotta even uh, even if the frequency of the original is, isn't the same as the new as the, the one you're gonna replace, it has to be the same because uh, uh, if you want the best results, you have to like make sure it's the same frequency as the original. I'm I'm not sure what happens after you put like the wrong frequency or not the correct one, but you can figure it out yourself but I just use the same frequency that's what I, wa I was told so <coughs> alright so I'm gonna go open uh, rebel card now the current brawl box uh, I'm using is uh, v0.68 beta it is currently in testing so if you uh, if you find bugs or any glitches on it like well it's just no, it's still testing this also uh, uh, leads me to saying that uh, you can't actually loop uh, the songs either since apparently the option for that is like unfinished so apparently you can't edit that I mean I mean check it and make the uh, make the music looped so yeah but the reason I'm saying this is, is because uh, apparently when you loop uh, when you don't loop something in MKV apparently it freezes when it reaches the, the loop end so yeah so with this being said I recommend that you like make the song or the music longer than it should be because uh, uh, Brawlbox and Rebelcar will actually allow you to do that because uh, apparently Brawlbox uh, uh, out of patches itself and then you can just put any any big file there just make sure it, like it's also like not, not one gigabyte or anything obviously just make sure it's like at least like 20 or 40 seconds longer than the original if you do that it's fine you'll be fine of not freezing or anything like I said it's still in testing so a few options might not be finished I just know the, the majority of them are in D finished so <clears throat> so basically when you load the row cart <coughs> you will see a bunch of shit on the bottom right uh, so basically uh, all you gotta do is scroll down and wait until you see 89 index 89 then uh, double click it and you open a new window will open then you will see on the bottom left the uh, audio then brackets and a bunch of numbers that are actually the sound effects we're gonna replace it also includes the star and music and the mega motion music uh, I forgot I think the first one was an item box yeah I right, got that down alright so <clears throat> uh, audio 5 is Starman music uh, I currently have it set to uh, some Skrillex one that I wanted to put in so I can test it real quick it's uh so yeah that's my Starman music so far and uh, since I have that already I'm gonna go <coughs> uh, go make one for the for the Mega Mushroom music now so simple shit. Uh, you're wondering how I replaced it. It's simple stuff. Like just click on replace. Look for the song you want to replace it with, and then click on open, and you'll be good to go. So before I do all that, I wanna actually open Audacity so I can show you how to make a, a song real quick in, in WAV because uh, WAV is the only music format Brawlbox will set and is uh, and recognizes. 
All right, so I'm just heading there. It's gonna close it. All right, uh, all you want to do is click file, then go import, then audio, then look for whatever sound you want to replace it with. Uh, in this case, uh, let's just let's just go with the old one. Let's just go with the Mumu Foreign one from Mark Market 64 since I have like nothing else. So I don't uh, uh, audacity load the track. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna adjust it. Oh, let me zoom in. So you can save more space here. And cut. And since you want to make it longer than the original, just to be safe, let's make it at least uh, almost 43 seconds longer. Uh, I mean, what seconds long? And so that's just. Actually, I can just do this. Ooh. Let's just do that. Uh, oh shit. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it's just, oh my god, I suck. I'll just leave it at that. Alright, there we go. Alright, uh, cut. Then you'll be good to go. Now, if you gotta highlight this, then go to amplify. Then, this is a, a, the kind of tricky part as well. Um, <coughs> basically, uh, some of the tracks needs to be amplified to, uh, be a good volume for MQV. But this I mean you have to like look for the original song value. You can do this by overwriting the top one here. Then after that, like uh, overwrite it, then you'll see on the bottom it'll show its original uh, amplification or amplitude. Uh, apparently this one is 0 0.6 and for me the perfect uh, amplitude uh, would be in between 3.0 or 5.0. .5 so I will just put it in between and put a. Uh, right, uh, there we go. Whoops. There we go. And after that, allow clamping. You know, you can put a, a, anything you want in between 3.0 and 5.0. Like that's just me, really. I think I think for me that's the best uh, amplitude to put it in for the for the menu music and the item music, such as this one. All right, so. Uh, so now, if your track is is a three two zero 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 H C, my bad. Uh, if it's three two zero 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 H C, then you can skip this step. Uh, if it isn't, then uh, follow this closely. All you gotta do is go to the bottom left, go put in three two zero zero zero. After that, go to center right. Click on other, then do the same shit again. Three, two, zero, 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 and you're good to go. And you will see that this will slow the song down. That's fine because we we can actually fix that. Let go to effect, then change pitch. Put thirty nine there. Go to effect again, then go to change tempo this time. Then after that, do the same shit, put 39, then you're good to go again. Then the song should be playing normally after that. Okay, that's new. Alright, after that, click export. I'll just put a Mega Mushroom, that's the custom name. You can. You also have to know that uh, that the cu the name don't, don't matter, and uh, when you replace it, like you can put anything you want, no worries. And make sure that when you... Uh, look for the save as type files. Make sure it's WAV, since, like I explained, it Rawbox only recognizes that. All right, go to save. Click OK, and there you go. After that, go back to Rawbox, then go to replace music, and then look for your song. And there we go. Make sure that it plays here. Uh, you can check this if you want, but uh, it won't actually loop the song, like I said, and since it's still testing, apparently the loop option doesn't fully work. So yeah. <coughs> Alright, so after that, click OK. It'll say encoding, please wait. I take a while though, but no worries, it'll, it'll finish it. Alright, 
so you'll see that it won't play here. But uh, after that, click done, then reload it, and then go back to the song you replaced, and it'll play it afterwards. Very nice. Uh, you can click a loop if you want, but like I said, it won't actually loop it. Like, look at that. Oh, let me. <laughs> Alright, let's just like uncheck it, so yeah, unfinished option, I'm pretty sure. Alright, just gonna make sure that my star, uh, alright. Alright, very nice, and. Alright, good to go. <coughs> now, for the title, you will have to go all the way to. 514. 514, uh, just uh, index 514, double click again and it'll be the same uh, process and in this one I have the the Metroid Other M uh, music or mostly Metroid Fusion as well the remake in Other M mm -hmm. so I'll leave it as that as well since it, uh, it's the same process I, I, I recommend for the for the menu to use like in between 4.0 and 5.0 and amp amplitude Th that's just me really, if you want to try something else and that's fine, have fun with that. After that, click on done. That's replacing what, what you, whatever you wanted to, re to replace it with. Say So you will also see that there's also uh, other effects here, like there's this also includes sound effects for the for the characters. Like, uh, you can go f figure that out, since I'm only doing like a small video of this. M maybe I'll do something in the future, maybe not. But if, if I do... Uh, I'll make sure that I include so, most of these, like the bit, the voices and most of the track sounds, like the Mumbi Highway one, where that has uh, uh, car noises and shit coming out of nowhere, basically. <laughs> so yeah. So I'll leave that for another day, maybe not. But there we go. Now that we got the finish, now let's uh, save the robot card. If you want to make another one, that's fine because I'll be doing that as well. I'll save my robot card one here. If you're using uh, Revolution, make sure that it is strictly Rebel Card BRCR. Uh, if it isn't, the game will recognize it and it will not load it. But if it's an ISO, then you can uh, rename it whatever you want and just replace it with uh, with with uh, Waste Scrubber. Alright, guys, this is the end of the video. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed it, and uh, I wasn't like too boring or anything. So yeah. I hope this helped a lot and I hope uh, I, I can make another tutorial about this some, some more about like this, this vo the voice effects and all this stuff like that so yeah thanks for watching and uh, yeah if you want you can subscribe for more and yeah it's all up to you though so yeah thanks for watching and